Big news from Kroger as it starts grocery delivery from a few of its tri-state stores this week. You would like that, wouldn't you? I would you? too. Yeah, Simply Money's Amy Wagner has the details on the cost, plus some cost-saving advice for saving money and food bill this way. And that is Consumer Alert. Hometown retailer Kroger is now testing grocery delivery at two tri-state stores. Kroger is now delivering groceries to customers within a five to eight mile radius of its Sharonville and Whitewater stores. You can shop online using Kroger's click list and pay an $11.95 fee. You'll then get a text when the delivery driver is headed to your house. Sure, that $12 fee sounds steep, but that includes the $4.95 click list fee. So if you're already ordering groceries online, delivery adds a $7 premium. But you could still save money with delivery versus going to the store yourself. Here's why. A recent study found 20% of the average grocery order was comprised of impulse buys. So if your family usually spends $150 a week at the store, odds are you're spending $30 a week on stuff that wasn't on your list. The Simply Money Point to really save, plan your menus for the week around what's on sale and what you already have in your fridge, freezer, or pantry. Then only click on what's on that list. And keep in mind, you will likely find lower prices on things like cereal, pet food, paper towels, and toiletries at big box stores or through a program like Amazon's Subscribe and Save. For Fox 19 Now and Simply Money, I'm Amy Wagner.